and focusing in on the junction design. The idea is to put in a junction from our off-ramp onto the interchange. I do this by simply going to Junctions, Add Junction, click on the intersecting road, click on my main road. When I do a junction design, everything I do, I can then go and save. So at a later stage, if I want to, I can load it. So I don't need to redo this all the time. You'll see that Civil Designer also goes and puts in coordinates for your bow mounts. And you can go and specify what interval you want the coordinates to be. Clicking on the left edge, and then putting a radius of 5. Clicking on the right edge, and it's putting a radius of 20. We also give you the option to go and put in a center island. So you can either go and specify your own dimensions. Alternatively, if you've already got it in CAD, you can extract from your CAD entities. In this case, I'm not going to put in an island. You can see the calculations being done in your output window, and this would include all your coordinates. The reason why I'm doing this at this stage is I want to go and make a change to our new road. And once the change has been done, you'll see that the junction dynamically updates. So let's go and make our new road wider. I then go to alignment, edge levels, and select insert edge width point. In a similar manner, I could also then go and delete the edge width point. When I do this function, my edge control panel is opened. I can then see what my existing grades are. And if I were to go and select width at the bottom, that is what the existing width look like. Reading my prompt indicate position of the width. So I go to where I want to add this additional width, pressing J on my keyboard, enter. And so you can see my width have been updated. I've also got my new change. Going to the next point. And then I choose to keep the existing width until the end of the offering. Closing my spreadsheet and saving it. Regenerating my levels. And so there you can see the new road width. And if you look at the junction, that too has been updated.